Here. I'm an Aranda woman from Central Australia. My family are from Mandari, Hermansburg, and I'm a Southern Generation person. So I grew up down here in Adelaide and I have had uh, involvement with Tandania since it first opened. sat in here and I've seen I've watched kids come in here and all of them just going up and putting their hands over and it's like yeah, I was approached in nineteen ninety six by Tandania to work with a team of designers to develop a concept and so uh, as soon as I walked into it I thought day, night, so that was the initial concept. And uh, I wanted to ensure that whatever I developed it wasn't solely dot Western art desert painting because that's my heritage um, because it needed to be representative of all the Australian Aboriginal nations. <laughs> to reflect all the different language groups from around Australia. So the handprints is recognised also uh, through various uh, rock imagery, whether it's uh, hands with the smiths from the, uh, in certain areas, whereas in my family, they would actually put their handprints on them. I've used that as a signature uh, ever since I started painting. Um, yeah, so that was basically about it. I also looked at the colours of the earth from the different regions. I wanted to ensure with a balance of day and night, uh, salt water, fresh water, and uh, balance of male and female. So it was those elements that were the fundamental. Uh, um, I am from the desert, um, but I grew up down here in Adelaide and, and um, have a very strong affinity with the, with the coast. Uh, and love the, the rivers um, and then so that the colours of the earth go up to the, the river and then the river meets the, the ocean on this this is the ocean this is the fresh water on this side and um, for the male and female um, with the women as the you know collecting bush food I've been out collecting um, um, Witchetty grubs, and then I've also been out with family um, with the kangaroo. I remember when I was painting it, it was um, they weren't able to close the gallery, uh, you know, because they needed to keep it open. So I worked on one half, and then worked on the other side. Uh, even like doing, going down to doing the footprints and stuff like that, because they are my footprints, and um, it was very, very slippery and. Um, I actually ended up having my, my husband Tim come in to help me and to hold me and, and a crutch in the other hand so I was able to sort of walk so I could get a natural pain. I'm just sort of sad if, 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 to see it go. Um, I think it's um, provided a lot of um, um, wow factor for Tandania and for a lot of people that have come through here. But look, everybody knows it, you know, and uh, um, it's like I said, it's been a, uh, one of the things I've been really proud of. I'd be sad to see it go, but everything has its time. Well, at home, when I was painting this one, because I was really, I really liked what I'd come up with, I actually have a painting of this myself at home on my wall, and it's about, about that tall. So. If it's lost here, then I've still got it on my wall, so I, can, I see it every day. So, ten days, is a, you know, ten days is in my heart, always will be. Ten Daniel really has, um, I think, it's, it's the light that a lot of people recognise and aspire to go come here, visit, 
and going back to their communities to look at how they can develop their own cultural expression of their communities.